Parkinson's disease, or PD, is a disorder of the brain that greatly impairs the sufferer's movement and speech. The biggest risk factor for PD is aging. Currently, about 5 to 6 million elderly persons in the world have PD. In Singapore, 3 in every 1,000 elderly suffer from this disease. Hi, I'm Associate Professor Lim Ka Leong from the National Neuroscience Institute. My team and I not only want to treat Parkinson's disease, we actually wish to go one step further to reverse the damage that the disease caused to our patient. Parkinson's may differ from individual to individual, but they usually exhibit certain classic telltale signs like tremors on the hands and legs, a cockwheel type rigidity so that they move in a very jerky fashion, and of course, they tend to lose their balance and fall. It's likened a prisoner trapped in one's own body, and you can appreciate that it creates a lot of burden not only to the patient, but also to their caregivers. My team thinks that the answer to fighting Parkinson's lies within our very unlikely friends, the fruit fries. We developed the first fruit fry model with Parkinson's disease in Singapore. In humans, PD is caused by the loss of nerve cells in our brain called dopamine neurons. Like our patient, these flies exhibit progressive loss of dopamine neurons and have similar trouble moving around. Why fruit fries? Well, firstly, they share 75% of the genes that cause disease in humans, so our research tests done on them are relevant to our patients. As a matter of fact, they respond to the same medication that we give to our patients. Secondly, they are cost-effective for research money. And lastly, their short life cycle makes them ideal candidate for Parkinson's progression observation and of course, for drug screening. Let me take you to my lab and show you what we study. Welcome to my laboratory. So in my lab, uh, we use uh, different models to study Parkinson's disease. And of course, one of these is our fruit fry model, which we have genetically engineered to exhibit Parkinson's disease symptoms. As you can see here, those flies that actually exhibit the disease do not climb very well, a feature that reflects the locomotion deficit you see in PD patients. When studying these flies, we discovered that EGCG, an antioxidant found in green tea, activates an enzyme in the brain called AMP kinase. This enzyme activation regulates energy use in neurons and protects them from dying. We treated the Parkinson's fly with EGCG and saw a positive effect. The flies moved better than the others and had better preserved neurons. AMP kinase activation also helps in controlling the aging process. And using these activation strategies, researchers could possibly promote healthy aging in humans. Unfortunately, the dose from drinking green tea is not quite enough to be therapeutic for Parkinson's patient. By the way, you're not supposed to drink in the lab. We're currently in talks with drug company to create a more potent AMPK activator that we hope would achieve its therapeutic effects in PD patients. And in the near future, we hope to make this a reality. Thank you.